Casey and John, thank you for coming to the new products rollout. Tell me about this thing. Thanks for having us, Brian. Uh, this is John Russell, the inventor of the alert warning system, and he's going to introduce the product for us. The alert warning system is basically a six white system that in a temporary work zone or any work phone zone for that matter, moving or stationary, it can be activated uh, six white lights to grab motorist attention that may not know what's going on ahead of them, a little extra light. And then if the motors continue to come on to the work unit or the work zone or the crew, uh, a second switch can be activated. The lights also have a sound system to join it. And that will give five to eight seconds of alert time so the motors can do the right thing, not impact the crew or the work zone. So you have both audio and visual stimulation correct. for the driver, correct? That is correct. Uh, that's neat. Now what is, um, what would differentiate this product from maybe others on the market? Is there something that uh, separates it from the pack? Well, the white lights are positioned at tractor trailer average height, uh, motorist average height on the on a back of a truck. And the lights are designed to be directional, so the lane you're in are brighter than the lanes to the side. So it really is kind of an annoying light to the motorist, but yet not blinding. And if that doesn't do the trick in a couple hundred feet, they'll switch to the sound system. The sound system will reach a thousand feet out in the real world, and it will give the motorist another five to eight seconds to hopefully do the right thing and not impact the vehicle, the equipment, or the manpower doing the work. Okay. Is there anything else uh, that I need to know about this? Because it sounds like it's doing a whole heck of a lot, and it sounds like it's different than many things on the market. That's true, Brian. There's not really anything else like this on the market. Uh, the entire turnkey system uses some directional equipment, either an board or message sign, in conjunction with the panic lights and the loudspeaker. So the different configurations that we offer were for different numbers of lights, different types of speakers, uh, and in the future, an automated system really is going to give the user a <coughs> wide range of functionality for their specific application. There's no other product in the market like it now, and we expect this to be a huge hit for people who are trying to achieve Vision Zero. Great, and this is available now? Yes, it We're is live. available through okay. American Signal. We're the licensee from John Russell, the inventor and patent holder of this equipment, and we're looking forward to putting a lot of these out on the roads and saving a bunch of lives. Awesome. Correct. We want to we want to protect the worker firsthand. We also want to protect the motorists that are getting injured running into these work zones. We obviously want to protect our equipment also. And with the new system coming out shortly, an automatic feature, that will then protect police officers on the side of the road, emergency responders, tow truck drivers, or motors assist people on the highway, first responders on the highway, uh, automatic to take it out of the hands of the workers and uh, be consistent and protect lives, save lives, protect you know injuries and equipment. Um, everybody at one, all in one thing. So how loud does that thing get? This loudspeaker is a 400 watt uh, loudspeaker that goes up to 130 decibels. Uh, we have it turned down to about a quarter power for an inside application. If we had this cranked up as loud as it will go in the real world to penetrate a motorist windshield and catch their attention at 800 to 850 feet, it'd blow everyone out of the room. Sounds great. Thank you so much for coming out, guys. Great product. Thank you. Thank, Thank you for having us, Brian. Brian. Appreciate Thank it. You.